If you were here in early 1880, there wasn't much. It was flat, it was very inhospitable. When the first railroad came in, things started changing very quickly. Uh, the railroad uh, here became the major terminal and the major diversion point for service on the railroads as well as a stopping point and depot for the town of Salida. So if you were to fast forward, uh, looking through history, by 1884, roughly 100 trains a day would come through here. 15 would be passenger trains, the rest would be hauling ore, livestock, building materials. Way down on the other end, uh, there were two roundhouses. The first went up, the second followed. They would hold a dozen or more engines that would be serviced, and there would be a lot of machinists that were employed to work there. Behind me in this vacant lot was the Monte Cristo Hotel, and that was built and owned by the D and RG Railroad, the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad. And the reason was, uh, at that time, railroads did not have dining cars. So passengers would come, they'd want to stop for a bite to eat, maybe for a place to stay for the night. Um, directly behind me in this area was the main depot, and that was upgraded over the years. There have been major fires, they would rebuild each time. And over on this far corner was the DNRG hospital. It was the first railroad hospital that was paid for free medical care. Uh, the workers would pay 50 cents a month in return to have all of their medical coverage taken care of because railroad work was very brutal. So there was a lot happening through here. Uh, a lot of people working, a lot of buildings, and it literally became the jumping off point for the development of Salida and for the expansion of the West.